pretty much everywhere I take it. Uh, er everywhere you go, you're gonna get screwed now. That's just the way trucking is. All right, so a little bit of an update. We uh, we took the truck in to have all the TP DPF filters in the whole system looked at, serviced, filters cleaned, dropped it off on a Wednesday. They said they wouldn't have it for more than 24 hours. Basically, I couldn't get the place to call me back. Finally ended up getting it back Monday night, 30 minutes before they close. And they completely screwed everything up. So they broke this fitting here. Where that goes in. So I had to uh, put some high temp RTV. And then on the way home from picking up. This was in Tampa. Uh, I noticed there was smoke coming out from under here. Hitting the front of Lita's truck. And uh, I asked Lita about it. She's like, no, I didn't see anything coming out from underneath the truck. And you guys know we just put this um we just put that new exhaust pipe on where's it at that new stainless steel i was waiting on that i got that on and i took it i took all this to them with all new filters and all new bands and left them in the truck and we get it back now like i said we picked this up 30 minutes before um closing notice that uh I didn't notice it honestly until I started driving and uh, honestly the truck was still running rough when we picked it up um, but it seemed to have cleared up by the time we got home to our exit so anyways I noticed that there was an exhaust you know it was leaking exhaust and the next morning I come out and I look at it and I'm like okay well th those aren't the new V-Vans so I start the truck up and I spray some soapy water all around that canister because between each one of those layers is a gasket. And I see bubbles everywhere. If you're editing this, Lita, it's in the it's in the photos too. So call the place up. The woman's like, well, he's not here right now. I was like, well, is there uh is there a number I can text and send you guys pictures? So I sent them pictures. And the guy claims that I never dropped off the gaskets. And there isn't enough exhaust pressure to blow out exhaust from there. So I sent them the picture. I'm not going to tell you the place because I'm probably contacting a, a lawyer about that place because I'm, I'm tired of getting ripped off. Anyways, so we've had a leaky, leaky clutch cable. Let me show you. A leaky, because uh, it's got an air assist clutch cable on it. And there's a little cylinder here where air goes into and it's been leaking in this shaft. I took it to a uh, place here in Valdosta and told them about it leaking when they when they were uh, putting a clutch brake in for me. And they charged me, I can't remember, it was like 300 bucks for two little air fittings. Told me that was fixed. And uh, it, it never got fixed. That was Fleet Pride. So Fleet Pride screwed me pretty much everywhere I take it. Uh, er everywhere you go, you're gonna get screwed now. That's just the way trucking is. So, I've got a brand new uh, Aris's clutch cable here, and uh, I'm going to attempt to put this on. Today is Sunday. We're going to, uh, the uh, annual inspection for the truck and trailer has run out, so we're going to run that up tomorrow morning, have it inspected. I thought about having them throw this on, but to be honest with you, the place where I'm going to have it annually inspected is the same monkeys that have messed my trailer up a few times. So we're just going to throw this on myself and uh, go from there. I don't think it's bad. I've already got the old one out from the firewall. You basically just disconnect this. You go inside and there's a pin that's in there with a with a cotter key. There is an adjustment down here. Um, I'll probably just measure 
and make it exactly the same when I go to put this on. And if it needs to be adjusted, I'll just take it and have it adjusted. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. And we're back. How long has it been? Oh my goodness. Wow. A long time. So long I don't even remember. Last I left off with you guys was actually a couple days ago though when I was gonna drop this truck off at another shop that said that they could get to a Friday. Went to the shop to drop it off. I guess the woman that I had talked to had been on vacation because when I got there, they said that they were three weeks out so I couldn't drop the truck off. So what we're gonna do is uh, just run it. I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. I mean, honestly, if we absolutely had to, we could sit at home a couple more months. But man, our savings will get ate alive. Absolutely ate alive. So, I know you guys have heard me say this before about how bad rates are, but they are absolutely disgusting. Uh, this is actually a non-broker load. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Yeah, this is a non-broker load. So they're gonna be cutting me a check when we drop. We're picking up in Hazelhurst, going to somewhere in Kentucky. Three pieces of equipment. It's like a skid steer. Man, that ranger wanted to die today. I can't believe he cut in front of us. Like that. Skid steer, a couple of little pieces of equipment. Three, three little pieces of equipment, like 30,000 pounds. So today is Friday. Should I not tell them the date? Probably not. How close are we caught up? Lead is still sick. I got a little sick from it. Not as bad. Um, just gets boring editing, right? Uh, I mean, I've been editing. Yeah? It's been a minute. Um, I'll say it's Friday. I, I need to check to see how close we are caught up. I mean, which is a good thing. Had we been caught up this entire time, we would have had nothing to put out. I mean, we'd have been... What we take? One load after Thanksgiving? Or one week's worth of loads after Thanksgiving and we haven't... We haven't done anything since, right? Yeah. Not that I can think of. Yeah. We just did one week where we did like 10,000 and that's it. I don't care. Today's February 17th. You can edit that out if you want to. Just letting them know how long we've been sitting at home. Injectors twice, clutch. Like, I've done so much. What else did I do to this thing? I mean, I guess in the videos they'll see that we did the uh, uh, leveling valve for the cab, the shock. We fixed the leveling valve on the truck. That fixed our vibration. They've already seen that video. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've seen that video. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What else did I do to the truck? I know I've done more. I don't know. Um, it seems like the second time they did the injectors. I mean, I'll, I'll say this. The shop that I always talk about and go to and, and trust let me down. Absolutely let me down. Charged me a bunch of money to fix a problem, didn't fix the problem, and now he's just like, we'll just have to start throwing parts at it. I'm like, no, bro, that's not how this works. You don't get to just throw parts at something until it fixes it. Like, I'm paying you for knowledge not to just swap out. I can throw parts at it. A monkey can throw parts at it at a truck. You know? You're not going to charge me and make money off of me unless you know what you're doing. And it seems like all of these shops nowadays <coughs> don't know what they're doing. Oh, take it over here, take it over there. I'm not over here, I'm not over there. I'm not gonna drive this thing halfway across the country in hopes that somebody, another parts changer can figure this thing out. I mean, it's, I'm hoping that it kind of fixes, not really fixes itself, but isn't an issue actually once the truck's warmed up we haven't had a load on the trailer yet so i don't know what that's going to be like 
I mean, this is only 30,000 pounds, so... Where is this trying to take me? I guess I'd... Oh, okay. I was thinking Hazelhurst was somewhere else. See, like, I'm at 1,200 RPM right now, and I have it mad, and it's not moving. And then it'll wake up and go. I thought maybe it'd be the throttle position sensor. It has five wires going to it. I don't know if I told you guys this or not. It's got five wires going to it. It's a pain in the butt to get to. I was hoping I could take it up there to Worldwide, and they could just check that for me. Obviously not. 250 you can't just buy the throttle position since you got to buy the whole throttle assembly. It's like 250 bucks I don't know, but we're gonna shoot over to Hazelhurst Pick up three pieces of equipment go to Kentucky. This load isn't that great It's the best I've seen on the board in a week. I Think it's 287 a mile. It's like 1700 bucks which is phenomenal compared to everything else. So, I don't know, I don't know. I applied for United Rental. I told you guys about the whole United Rental thing. I applied for them. I don't know what they're gonna pay. Honestly, if they come back with something ridiculous, I have to turn them down. Like, I get it. I'm a monkey holding a steering wheel. Like, anybody can pretty much do this job but I'm not gonna do this, their job cheap. I've never had a job. I don't know what the, that would be like. That'd be weird to actually punch a time clock and everything. You've done it before. Yeah. It would suck not to be around you and the dogs all day. Yeah. I mean, it would kill the YouTube channel, honestly. I don't know, I'm gonna hang on as long as I can. I'm not driving for Uber. I'm not gonna do any of that. That's crazy. It's funny, everybody that bragged about how great they were is no longer doing it. I'm not saying I'm great at it. That's what I'm saying. I've never said I was great at it. I've never said this is easy. I've always tried to warn you guys about this industry. I don't know.
right, we have arrived in Hazelhurst, Georgia. Hey, that's a nice jacket you got on. Yeah. And it is raining. So we've got one guy ahead of us that's gonna load. He's got one more piece he has to load. Um, and then we'll back up to the dock. She said all of this runs, so hopefully it runs okay. And we can uh, hit the road, huh? So we're gonna have to put our ramps for the top deck. Yeah. Faux show. And what sucks is it's raining. Starting to pile up now. Of course, he's got an RGN, so he doesn't need to use the uh, loading dock. But a guy's come by. He's gonna go grab our equipment for us. Hopefully by then, the guy behind us is loaded and left, and we can start loading ours up. I know we're getting a excavator. I think it's a mini excavator, um, a skid steer, and I don't. I honestly don't even know what else. Eager Beaver though, those there's a uh, Eager Beaver place down there in Florida that I drive by all the time. And I wanted to stop by one day and look at those things and just uh, ran out of time. Well, looks like it's our turn to back up. Nice old guy there. He's picking up some tractors. Going to take them to the Mennonites up in New York. He says he hauls for this Mennonite all the time. He said he can't technically use the tractors. He's allowed to fix them and sell them. So that's pretty cool. Huh? It's a crazy world up there with those Amish. That window's kind of froggy. Looks like they got our mini excavator out. Pulled out, we should probably roll these windows up, huh? It's just in case it starts raining again. Hopefully it doesn't rain. You might want to take your key out. Oh, in case the doggies locked it. Yeah, you can put it back on there, can Thank you, gorgeous. That must be our mini excavator. Uh, we're probably going to put the uh, Bobcat on top, and then I don't know what else we have besides that excavator. So, but I know for sure. Let's see how straight I got onto this thing. God dang. Perfect, huh? Uh, yeah, I know I want to put the, bob, the Bobcat up there, so we got to get the ramps down so we can get something up here and then uh, see what else they bring us. Scoot over, shithead. Come on. Woo. It's starting to rain on us again. They're, uh, I guess they're working on getting our other stuff here. Of course, it starts raining. It stopped raining, and then it started raining again when we got outside. That's our, uh, that's our skid steer. You can put the bucket on top if you want. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, 
I think we're getting that tractor and that excavator. Battery's almost dead. It's like this cold weather doesn't like, these batteries don't like the cold weather. Almost done. All right, GoPro died. So we're back on the iPhone. So uh, spent the last, I don't know how long she spent knocking this dirt off of here. I mean, can't be responsible for that going down the road. I think this little bit right here will probably fall off as we leave out, but I don't know. I might have to charge this, uh, might have to charge this person to wash these things because I should not be responsible. Look how muddy this is. Oh my goodness. Lita's just bungeeing up some chains. We get everything chained down. This, uh, this tractor's got a broken arm. And uh, they want us to uh, take off all, anything that has to do with this auction. Numbers, tags, anything. I, I don't know what's up with that. They want us to take all the auction stuff off. And then they want us to duct tape over the exhaust pipes. Uh, kind of strange. I don't know. I guess we'll do it. 